guys, welcome back to another The Arsenio Book Show podcast, and today is a new book series. Man, I love announcing these new book series. They get me so tickled. I remember when Gary V, he came out with Crushing It. That podcast probably got 100 plays. I swear, no personal development podcast ever gets 100 plays. ESL, yes, it gets between 100 to 1,500. But personal development, I'll be lucky to get fucking 10 of them bitches. Okay? And so, here I am. I hurry up and subscribe to Scrib because Google fucking sucks, right? Because if you put personal development books on Google, you're like, eh, just a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? There's not really much to it. They're, they're showing old books, they're showing new books, and then they're, they're talking about Amazon, and I'm like, well, fuck Amazon, uh, fuck Jeff Bezos, and I'm like, god damn it, I gotta get back on script. So I hurry up and made an email so I could get, like, a free 30-day trial because I don't want to pay them, you know what I mean? Fuck those motherfuckers. Uh, and then I went back on there, I put, went to the self-improvement, and then I found Mel Robbins. And I'm like, oh, this is the five-second rule. And I'm like, well, she's a very condescending personal development coach she only came about when you know she went on tom billy's show and then she got real popular she's actually a genuine asshole uh and i'm like well do i really want to do this to go against all her ideas i said man what else is there so i ended up just uh i looked for napoleon hill and i checked out all those other books and it's literally a replication of what he has already made I went to Dale Carnegie, literally the same thing. There was one called The Leader in You, and I was like, ooh, by Dale Carnegie? That sounds really good. Uh, Then, of course, I was thinking about leadership books, and I know that Simon Sinek has made some, but I just don't like him. Him and Mel Robbins, condescended know-it-alls. I just do not like them whatsoever. So then, gotta stay true to my worth, and I said, fuck it. Let me check Stephen Covey, because I remember I tried looking for the eighth habit everywhere. I went to the bookstore out there at Sion Paragon maybe between a year and two years ago. They didn't have it. iBooks doesn't have jack shit. And I'm like, you know what? I bet you Scribd has it, though. Sure enough, they did. They had it in audio form, and I just got the PDF. Guys, we're going back into goddamn Stephen Covey! Eighth habit. And so what these chapters are going to consist of, we have 15 of them. They're going to be super thorough breakdowns within each of them. Again, if there's a lot of beautiful information given, um, I'm going to have to, like, slow it down and hurry up and, like, like hurry up and um, uh, br- break those chapters down maybe into, I don't know, but two to seven episodes, perhaps? It just depends how much content there is. Because Stephen Covey has a tendency of writing, um, like, masses upon masses of content. And I'm like, okay, so what are these chapters? Well, we have chapter one, the pain, the problem, the solution. Maybe this could be a sum up of a little bit of the seven habits. There would be a little bit of uh, speed and trust in there. But this is all very essential. Then we're going to talk about voice. This is about your voice. Developing that voice. Chapter four, it's time to discover it. Chapter five, you got to express it. Chapter six, you have to inspire others to find their voice. Remember what I said in the last chapter of uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? What was that chapter about? It was about helping others achieve what you don't have right now. This is what we're going to do. The voice of influence, chapter seven. Eight is the voice of trustworthiness. And then a little bit of a sum up, the voice and speed of trust, which will top off chapter nine. Then blend in voices, uh, one voice, the voice of discipline and execution, the empowering voice, the eighth habit and the sweet spot, and using your voices wisely. And then, of course, there's an alternative. There was another book called The Alternative, and I'm like, that might be the book after this. So, guys, we have our books for the remainder of the year. I am so excited because I was trying to – I was like, man, I need to hurry up and figure this out because, again, now that global coaches have completely fallen apart, yes, everyone, I am very – very uh, sad to announce this news. You guys are going to hear it when all emotions uh, will will have sufficed. By June 21st, you're going to hear the first segment on the 20th and the second segment on the 21st. Uh, but Global Coaches, uh, three solid episodes, and now we're done. Very unfortunate. I could get another band of brothers together and continue doing something. But again, if I do, it's going to have to be male-oriented. I know that sounds crazy for all the females who possibly listen to this, but for some reason, Norwegian, South African, doesn't matter, 
Uh, maybe egos were in the way. Who knows? But they just started dropping out like flies, and then they went AWOL. And I'm like, you guys, I mean, you guys call yourself coaches. You call yourself coaches. And you just literally just fell flat. I'm like, you know what, man? Okay, just go do your thing. Go do your thing. Best of luck to you. Goodbye. And now let me refocus and continue developing me. This is what this passion project is. Now, again, you guys need to stay tuned because there will be a switch sometime this year. Me going from the Arsenio Buck Show podcast. I'm going to be switching it up and going over to Buzzsprout. But I think Buzzsprout is going to be able to import all of my podcasts. I have no idea. Not yet. I'm going to take the RSS feed. I'm going to see if I could blank it and take all of those podcasts and move it over to Buzzsprout. If I can, that would be amazing because then I could literally just use this RSS feed and slam it over there so I don't have to create an entire new podcast. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to do a lot of research and whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, well, I'll be keeping you uh, up to date with that. But, guys, I'm just excited, excited, excited. We got the speed. I'm sorry, not the speed of trust. The eighth habit. And you know those Stephen Covey podcasts? I don't know. There was one a long, what is it, empathic listening in the emotional bank account and autobiographical responses still had the most plays on my personal development podcasts. Okay? One of them has like a 1,000. I think one of those. One of them have a 1,000. And so in saying that, it's all about just development. If I had stopped learning from these books and stopped what I'm doing, I would, con- I would start to deteriorate because I'm insatiable for learning. I become these books. I learned so much about these books and then I relate it to my life and then I could figure out how I could execute and going forward. This is what these, this passion project is. And then I relate it back to you guys. So, oh. Just yesterday, I was freaking out and everything, but now I found the beautiful eighth habit, and guys, we're going through with it all the way through. So, again, I'm so, so excited about this. We're going to be doing a thorough introduction coming up real soon. Let's see what happens, or we might just dive right into chapter one beginning tomorrow. So, in saying that, let's get this development back going. I'm going to switch those Instagram TVs and the little topics that I have throughout the day put them back on Instagram TV, but I want to start banging these out again. So in saying that, I do not think I'm going to be having anyone come on to my personal development podcast anymore. Um, I'm going to start switching into Instagram TV, uh, and I could probably rip the audio. Who who knows? Who's, who, I don't know. Um, I don't know right now, but you know, all the things that I did before with bringing coaches and Huh, me wanting to bring other people, I'm just like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. I know you guys just like my voice anyway. So guys, that is the introduction. So excited about this. Stay tuned. Tomorrow is the first day. I'm your host, as always. Welcome back to Season 6, Over and Out.